across Europe, the far right is on the rise, taking on governments, promising to end migration and shake up the EU. I don't want to be part of the minority in my own country. They don't welcome you. You are Muslim. You have to be a refugee. But are they fueling hate? I think their aims are absolutely dangerous. We're traveling through the continent to find out what's behind their success. What happens next? Is it riots? Could they be about to change Europe as we know it? Police act as peacekeepers. As Germany's far-right party, the alternative for Deutschland, kicks off its campaign for the European elections. Deutschland and Europa sind in den vergangenen 50 Jahren islamischer, ja auch afrikanischer geworden. The AfD are the first far-right party in the German Parliament since the Second World War. They won enough votes in the last election to become the main opposition here. They're part of a new wave of far-right populism that's spreading across Europe. It's anti-EU and anti-immigration. 200 million Afrikaner bei allem Respekt, aber wir auch Europa, dann noch Europa. Supporters have travelled across Germany to be here, worried about their country's future. I love my home, I love our culture, and there is no need to go on the knees for other cultures. The party's popularity surged after the migration crisis in 2015, when it seized on the German leader Angela Merkel's decision to take in more than a million refugees. We're heading to the east, where the party has the most support. Some of these your posters yeah. that have been graffitied out on the street. In Deutsch. <laughs> uh, Deutschland verrecke. Uh, what does that mean? Die, die Germany. We have your, um, a big left scene and yeah, <laughs> they don't like us. Julian leads the youth wing of the party in Leipzig and campaigning is underway. We went to the AFD's election launch. Something they said there was that Germany had been colonized by Islam. Do you agree with that? Grundsätzlich schon, ja. Es ist schon so, dass Menschen aus vornehmlich islamischen Ländern hier in dieses Land einwandern, ihren Lebensstil mitbringen und ihn in einer dominanten Art und Weise durchzusetzen versuchen. Your opponents call you racist. Ich verurteile Leute nicht aufgrund ihrer Herkunft oder aufgrund ihres äh, Migrationshintergrundes, sondern rein aufgrund äh, dessen, wie sie sich verhalten. But you say there is a problem with Islam. That is racist. Ähm, nein. Ähm, Religionszugehörigkeit ist keine Rasse. Der Islam gehört nicht zu Deutschland. These views make many here bristle. Germans are acutely aware of their Nazi past, and some find the parallels deeply troubling. Franziska left the AFD, concerned it was becoming more extreme. The most extreme ideology is that there are good persons and bad persons, not because of their um, behavior, but of their genetic code. And if you are um, Arabic, then you are worth less than uh, good white German. That ideology exists. That, the that ideology uh, do, uh, dominates the party. Nearby the town of Chemnitz. Last year protests erupted here after a man was stabbed to death in a fight with two asylum seekers. High profile members of the AFD joined in. Now a fringe far right group is expanding its headquarters here which Gabby is trying to stop. Well, these people in this building over there, they want to get rid of all foreigners, as they say. I don't want to get any closer. <laughs> so have you noticed Chemnitz becoming more right-wing in the past year or so? Yes, yes. The mood has changed. It's much more difficult for Muslim people to live here, to be out in the streets. Racism has become much more a thing of normality. Do you think that the AFD entering Parliament has emboldened 
the more extreme groups like this. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, but because uh, it, uh, now it has the face of a normal party. We're shouted at as we film the house. There is quite a hostile atmosphere, you, you can sense it. But what's really stark is that this is the area where the migrant community of Chemnitz live. I can't imagine what it must be like to live here in the shadow of a house where people meet and work out how they're going to get you to leave. I want to know what impact this is all having on Muslims who've grown up in Germany. Do you feel that Germany has become more racist? Maybe more openly racist. People are more likely to show that they don't welcome you, that they, they think that, there is, that, is, that this is their country. You know, you are Muslim, you have to be a refugee. Yo, I know scared. This is Alex, an activist for the far-right youth movement in Europe, Generation Identity. While they share the AFD's views on migration, some of their ideas are more extreme. Banned from Facebook, they spread their message on YouTube. It's now emerged that the man behind the Christchurch mosque shootings donated to them. Yesterday we, we made a video about self-tattooing. It's not looking really pretty, but it's just a... It's the, it's the experience, you know. But mostly his videos are about his politics. And we say, okay, um, Germany shall be the, the country of the natives. Let's start a remigration. That means everybody that sh is not allowed to be in, in, in Germany, then he has to go back. We're taken to their headquarters. I'm Jean, nice to meet you. A house clearly under siege. <laughs> A democracy can only work if uh, it is largely if it's, if it's an ethnic democracy. What do you mean by that? That the majority of the people in a democracy have to be of the same cultural background. That's just how it is. Although the AFD denies any official link to generation identity, in some places they appear to work closely together. We are different organizations, mm -hmm. but they're they're going to the right direction, I would say. Have you voted for them? Of course. The people who have always supported us but were scared are slowly now um, losing their the barrier of fear and, and are coming to us. Both Generation Identity and some parts of the AFD are currently being monitored by intelligence services. And I want to ask Alex about his group's links to the New Zealand shootings. What happened in Christchurch is really terrible. It's got nothing to do with Generation Identity. Yeah. And but some of the ideas that you promote about migration and about migrants not necessarily belonging, can you not see that they might lead some people to act out violently towards those people? If a freak takes ideas from every, every um, um, area that he can find, it, then it's not the idea, the problem, it's a freak, the problem. And, um, the, 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 I guess the point I'm making is that if you if you encourage our hostility towards a certain group of people, there is a danger that those people may face retaliation from some parts of society. You have to say no, because one big point of our ideas is peaceful, being peaceful. The AFD has certainly changed the conversation around migration here. And as it gears up to try and win more seats in the European Parliament, it's joining forces with far-right Eurosceptic parties in other countries. We are not alone with our own ideas, but we have a lot of good friends. A new alliance hoping to challenge the political status quo. How would you like Germany to change? Yeah, of course, I would like Germany to be a bit conservative, and that Germany or the Deutschen vielleicht auch wieder ein bisschen stolz sind auf Deutschland. Are you proud to be German? <laughs> ja. What does it mean to you to be German? Um, was heißt es, Deutscher zu sein? Ja, ist schwierig, da müsste ich drüber nachdenken. Das ist, ähm